Say what? Say what? The Opie and Anthony Show is back on Sirius XM. <laughs> Easy A, right? Hell yeah. The same records that you're making is paying me. Motherfuck Dre, motherfuck Snoop. And like the NWA a lot. Oh, yeah. I didn't know much about him at the time. And then we learned recently, Easy E wasn't even meant to rap, really. Real motherfucking G's. Remember uh, Ice Cube telling us that? Yeah. Was it Ice Cube? It was Ice Cube, right? Uh, Ice Cube. Ice Cube. <laughs> Ice Cube. With all the confidence in the world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the best part of it. Though. I know. Hey, Great. Ice Cube. Uh, you're Ice Tea. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck me. Uh, 19 years ago, we lost the Easy E. Wow. He would have uh, long ago. He would have only been 50 years old. Damn. So, he would be an old OG, OG, though. He'd be an OG. Right. He'd probably be on one of those fucking CSI shows. Something, right? Whatever the fuck. Yeah. He'd be on Dance with the Stars. Yeah, something like that. Are you kidding? <laughs> what else happened? <laughs> oh, remember that Heaven's Gate thing? Heaven's Marshall Gate? White Apple or no? Mm, yeah, right? It was, right? I'm guessing. They found the bodies of the 39 Heaven's Gate members 17 oh. years ago. Were those the Seven. Nike guys? Yeah. Right? Yep. Hmm. That was them. And they, they had to put a thing over their beds. heads, too. What, didn't they have to put some kind of... Yeah. What was it? Uh, some kind of blue cloth or some kind of... But it was purple. Purple, yeah. right, right. Yep. What was it, though? A purple blanket? Yeah, or... it was a purple blanket. Yeah, they had to put purple blankets on their heads as well or something. Yeah. And what, they were waiting for the spaceship behind the comet? Yeah, yeah. Hellbop. Hellbop. Oh, that's right. Hellbop. I haven't thought about this stuff in years. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think radio line. stations did do that song. Yeah. What'd they do? A little parody. I think they did Hellbop. Hellbop. Instead of Mbop. Oh, I think Anthony's right. Uh, I vaguely remember something like that. Yeah. And then uh, the Mike Tyson guy yeah. went to prison for six years for rape 22 years ago. Wow. How many years did he serve? I think he served three, right? If I remember my uh, yes. my readings, that Mike Tyson <clears throat> book we haven't talked about in a while. What an amazing book if you're looking for something to read. That shit insane. Incredibly honest in his, uh, in his book. Yep. By yeah. the way... Uh, Eric's telling me that that Todd did a Hail Bob song. He did. Yeah. Todd? Yeah. Of course. Can we find it? He says he doesn't have the clip, but he remembers him. Well, it. Boy. well how about we find it? It's topical Maybe we can today. Find it. <laughs> how is the Todd show doing? We haven't checked in in a while. It's probably really good, though. I, I've not oh, heard yeah. it, but I hear it's amazing. We might have to check in soon. What do you guys think? Should yeah, we, I'd like to see what they're doing. Should we check in soon? What the heck? We should. I know Scott uh, Shannon's just kicking ass for CBS FM. CBS. Leaving him alone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a good egg. We've turned the corner on uh, Scott Shannon. Yeah. Nothing but support for him. <laughs> but let's take a look at uh, the Todd show soon. Maybe tomorrow yeah, it's been or Friday. A while. We've given him some time to settle in. You're right. Remember mm -hmm. that um, that a April Fool's thing that I just said about uh, regular radio? Yeah. So it's our old pal Rover, Rover Radio on Twitter. Uh huh. He writes. Uh, Sass Keith, I think his name is, sent this early April Fool's joke to all shows. Oh. And then he writes, uh, he tweets, he says, uh, don't worry, our gunman, our gunman loose at station bit is still on. <laughs> and what the uh, management sent mm -hmm. is this to, to Rover and a lot of other Who did Rover shows. write that to? He just tweeted it. Oh. He's pissed, you could tell. Good for Rover. Still fighting the good fight on regular radio. <laughs> Trying. So this guy, Keith Abrams, Cleveland Radio, all talent. So they, wow. they own a whole bunch of stations up there in Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. So this went out to their entire... Um, all the air staff. All the air staff. Thank you, man. It and says producers and everybody. 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 Right. Folks, just a reminder that with April 1st, one week away, mm. all April Fool's bits must be cleared with your PD before anyone would execute. Oh. Thanks, Keith Abrams. Oh. We hear it. And there you have it. Hi, we'd like to do something. Um, then again, uh, I think we had a lot to do with this. I think you uh, had everything to do with it. <laughs> Yikes.
But that was the fun of April Fools. You would try to sneak one past your audience yeah. and your program director. You, you never told the program director what you no, were doing. He would, he would fuck it up. Always, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you just came up with the idea and did it. Like when we did the mayor's prank, uh, oh. almost uh, I guess sixteen years coming up in a week. Oh. You know, remember Dave Douglas coming in? Sam, you might want to listen to this. You love Dave Douglas stories. Dave, we started the mayor's prank. It's going really well. Yeah. And then Dave, in a panic, comes running in. It's like you go on the air and tell him this is an April Fool's joke. <clears throat> Me and Anthony look at each other like, yeah, all right, man. Yeah, but we got a few songs yeah, to eventually. play. Don't you worry about it. And he goes, okay, you're gonna do it, right? I'm like, yeah. He believed you. Yes. Another half, you guys were buddies. Another half hour goes by, and we really hammer the bit home mm. by having a fake <laughs> news report from one of my old buddies. Yeah. That I don't think I've ever named on the show because I protected his fucking career. And then he comes running in again. I told, I told, I told. I told. Ah, Dave, we're gonna do it. We got this. Relax. <laughs> and then right to sign off, it was time. And I think he was at the door. Yeah, he was very angry. And at at sign off, we're like, well, keep listening uh, to the station because you know, to see what the latest is on this. And we never. <laughs> 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 You just you just lied to him. Let it uh, hang there, yeah. All the cold stares we got. You believe that dummy tried to run in and would have saved your jobs? I know, what right? What an idiot. That asshole. Oh, no, it was the best thing we we ever did. Thank God. We needed out of there Hindsight. to become big radio stars. Oh, yeah. What did he say at the end of the show? I, I wish I completely remembered. I know we got a good talking to. Oh, yeah. Guys. But then it ended up our, pretty much our last show. We were we were allowed to come back the next day before it got yeah, real ugly. Then it just was real. We always bad. get to do that the show after the the bad oh, show because they're not sure what's going on yet. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then everyone got pissed at us that we kind of blew up our spot and left. Yeah. So we had a good thing going up there with the radio station. What ebbs? That's what I say. What ebbs? Fuck yeah. Well, they weren't they weren't paying us. Remember, I mm. kept going to those guys, going, "Look, we're ready to be syndicated," and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." I'm like, "All right, yeah. watch what we do next." <laughs> what do we do now? We already had meetings in New York. Hell yeah, on the QT. We knew yeah, exactly we been, what we, we were been doing down here already. Right. So, all right, man. You know. Yeah. That was after the big negotiation where Bruce Mittman slid the paper over to show us that he was going to give us, I think it was a, a two thousand dollar raise or oh, something. Oh yeah, look out! Even though our competition, who we were kicking there, we were kicking everyone's ass. They were making like what three or four times more than us at least. And this asshole, and I love him dearly. I was just thinking about him yesterday. Actually, pushes the little paper over to show us our raise like at a they, Chinese buffet, like they do in the movies. And Anthony, God <laughs> bless you. I just started laughing. Just laughs in his face because usually that would have been my job. Uh, and it was like you got to be shitting me. Like, oh, 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 really? <laughs> I just started laughing. Then I'm like, all that right, ridiculous. We now know what we have to do. <laughs> And then Dave Douglas had to separate me and Ant. He knows uh, I'm extremely competitive, so he separates me from Ant to go, it's too bad that, uh, you know, you guys aren't going to sign because, you know, doing so well against BCN and everything. Be a real shame. He's such a dick. What a fucking loser. And then we had to sign because we didn't have anything officially yet. Uh, and then April Fool's came around and we said, all that's right. It. There's the door. There you go. We're gonna go out in style. But then, um, then we we told the 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 boys in New York. We're like, good news. We we're no longer under contract with those guys. Yeah. But remember, they didn't want to touch us at first, and yeah. we're like, oh fuck. Like you lay what low. do we do? Mm. And they're like, ah, we gotta lay low a little bit to see how this fucking plays out. Yeah. And then. Long yeah, story short, uh, we had two radio stations here in New York that wanted us, and they sort of fought over us for a little while. That was kind of nice. That works. And now, you know, fast forward, and yeah, we're here. no one even gives a fuck about us around here. Nice little... Uh, I do. Thank you, Seth. Like Wallace. you said, no one gives a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I you. It's implying you're no one. But I, find, I, know, I know. Accurately. <laughs> what I do find strange is they don't care if we have really good shows or really bad shows. They just don't care. No. I guess it's, it's because people are already signed up or something. Yeah, it's a product that uh, we're giving to the people that are already, you know, signed up. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I tried to suggest some stuff for um, L.A., but that's just <laughs> not going not gonna to happen. Maybe Louisiana. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Good luck. Yeah, just not going. Keep up your good nature. So, regular radio, they can't do April Fool's uh, pranks. Or anyway, yeah. they can't do the good ones. 
We, we weren't the only ones that did a good April Fool's prank. No, it's, there's you would always hear from there. a radio station here and there that did an amazing April Fool's prank that got everyone in a panic or got talking. Got rattled up. You're just not going to get that anymore. What was some of them April Fool prank prank? Oh, God, bring Eric in. He would probably know oh. all the, the, the tunnel's flooded. <laughs> oh, yeah, the tunnel's flooded. Uh, uh, UFO? No, uh, volcano. It was a big Volcano? One. Like the town had a volcano that was about to erupt that no one knew about, and it was always whatever hill is in your little town, whatever it's called. Ronnie B had such a good one last year. That oh. was a good one. What? What did he do? He got on <clears throat> the uh, air live, but presented the entire thing as a best of. Had Eastside Dave in, the whole thing. It sounded like an old show, and he kept bringing up things that listening in hindsight is like, oh my God, that does ha wind up happening. Like like naming who won the Super Bowl and things like that. Oh, that's hilarious. Because <laughs> he was live. Right. <laughs> it was really a, I gotta go a listen great to that. idea. Yeah, I listened to it. It's really good. We should do that. that out. No, Chip. We can't do that can't now. do it now. It's... If you said it. Oh, Chip is the worst. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> I, I did a good trick last year for what apple falls oh okay thought I, so i put mud in everyone's coffee cup look it's coffee did they drink it apple falls <laughs> he never gives any no, answer just... he just says apple falls <laughs> you don't think he's good at it no all of his apple falls things suck yeah uh, no what? one would fall for him Let's say hi to uh, Maddie, looks like, in Georgia. Maddie. Good morning, guys. Hi, Maddie. Oh, I know you. You call from time to time. What's up? Uh, well, back in 1997, when I was living in Florida, the gunman in the studio, April Fool joke, Bubba the Love Sponge did that when he was working at the, the Power Pig 93.3. Did what? The uh, gunman in the studio where a gunman supposedly came in and shot him and killed him. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> wow. All right, I respect that. That's a brutal one. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't that know, wasn't true. <laughs> I don't know where we're at with uh, Bubba the Love Sponge these days, but, you know, the guy definitely had a, a few good bits a over gunman. the years. Yeah. I like that. You guys have a good day. Thanks. I got him so bad on Twitter a few months oh, back. <laughs> My fucking hook line and sink. That was him. a good one. <laughs> I, I tweeted so I'm like, hey man, you know, DM me. I got some I gotta talk to you. And he was all excited on Twitter that we were finally excited. gonna talk. <laughs> and basically uh It was about what, coming here or something? No, I didn't say any of that. I just said No, uh, but I, I just mean, wanted to talk to you. He thought. And he was so excited, he started following me and and then I, I just wrote, hey, man, when are you going to fucking DM me, you know? And then he, he tweets, I, I DM'd you. What? What's going on? <laughs> then, oh. then he had admit to all his, fan, his, <laughs> his fan base that I just fucking got him bad. <laughs> I don't even hate the guy. I've never even met the guy, to be honest with you. Whatever. <laughs>